The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the first letter of St. John. Our fearlessness toward him consists in this, that if we ask anything in accordance with his will, he hears us. And if we know that he listens to whatever we ask him, we know that we already possess whatever we've asked of him. If anyone sees his brother commit a sin that is not a deadly sin, he has only to pray and God will give life to his brother, provided that it is not a deadly sin. There is sin that leads to death, and I am not saying you must pray about that. Every kind of wickedness is sin, but not all sin leads to death. We are well aware that no one who is a child of God sins because he who was born from God protects him, and the evil one has no hold over him. We are well aware that we are from God and the whole world is in the power of the evil one. We are well aware also that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know the one who is true. We are in the one who is true as we are in his Son, Jesus Christ. He is the true God and this is eternal life. Children, be on your guard against false gods. And our response is taken from Psalm 149. Alleluia. Sing a new song to Yahweh, his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Israel shall rejoice in its maker. The children of Zion delight in their king. They shall dance in praise of his name. Play to him on tambourines and harp. For Yahweh loves his people. He will crown the humble with salvation. The faithful exult in glory. Shout for joy as they worship him. Praising God to the heights with their voices a two-edged sword in their hands, to execute on them the judgment passed to the honor of all his faithful. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. After this, Jesus went with his disciples into the Judean countryside and stayed with them there and baptized. John also was baptizing at Aon near Salem, where there was plenty of water and the people were going there and were being baptized. For John had not yet been put in prison. Now a discussion arose between some of John's disciples and a Jew about purification. So they went to John and said, Rabbi, the man who was with you on the far side of the Jordan, the man to whom you bore witness, is baptizing now, and everyone is going to him. John replied, No one can have anything except what is given him from heaven. You yourselves can bear me out. I said I am not the Christ. I am the one who has been sent to go in front of him. It is the bridegroom who has the bride. And yet the bridegroom's friend who stands there and listens to him is filled with joy at the bridegroom's voice. This is the joy I feel and it is complete. He must grow greater, I must grow less. The Gospel of the Lord.